the secret plastic cycle in your seafood. This fish looks healthy, but it's hiding a shocking secret. It's filled with invisible plastic. We're told to recycle, but only 9% of our plastic waste actually is. The rest breaks down, entering our oceans and our food chain, eventually ending up on your plate. Today, we're exposing the secret journey of plastic and how the final step is you. Section one, the journey begins. It starts with a single bottle, one of millions of metric tons of plastic entering our oceans each year. The real danger isn't the bottle itself, but what it becomes. Sun and waves smash it into trillions of microplastics, many smaller than a grain of rice. They've become a permanent part of the ocean that we can never clean up. Section two, the invisible transformation. Here's where the journey takes a terrifying turn. Tiny plastic bits are eaten by plankton entering the global food web, but it gets worse. These plastics act like toxic sponges, soaking up chemicals like pesticides and heavy metals until they become little poison pills, thousands of times more toxic than the water around them. Section three, climbing the food chain. The cycle accelerates up the food chain. A small fish eats thousands of toxic plankton and its body fills with plastic. That's bioaccumulation. Then, a bigger fish eats hundreds of those smaller fish, concentrating the toxins. That's biomagnification. A top predator, like tuna, absorbs the toxins from everything it eats. Section four, the plate and the human impact, which brings us to your dinner plate. Scientists are finding microplastics not just in the guts, but deep inside the meat of the fish we eat. When you eat that seafood, you're eating its accumulated plastic. The consequences? Microplastics have already been found in human blood, lungs, and even our brains. In animals, it's linked to inflammation, cell damage, and reproductive harm. We are the final stop in this plastic cycle. Section five, the bigger picture. And it's not just bottles. The biggest sources are things you'd never expect like synthetic fibers from our clothes and dust from car tires. This invisible flood of plastic flows from our homes and streets right into our water, constantly feeding the cycle. Clarion call to action. So how do we fix this? It starts with awareness. We must change how we view plastic. Lower your plastic footprint, choose natural fibers, and support companies trying to solve the problem. I challenge you to share this video with one person. Conclusion, this proves nothing. We throw away really disappears. It just becomes a hidden poison that climbs the food chain right back to us. The health of our oceans and our own health are terrifyingly connected.